like eight years ago, we slept together once. Mm -hmm. She does OF, um, which oh. obviously Peggy's always had a problem with. Yeah. But she has a partner. Um, she invited me to that. So I said, as a thank you, I'm going to invite you to something. I need to figure Why things out. Why weren't you out. happy? Um, probably because she didn't make me happy. Right. That's the reality of it. They they liked Peggy only when she treated me correctly. Did they meet her? <laughs> yeah, finally. Welcome to Wedding Mayhem. I think it was three. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> <laughs> How you been? Hey, you? Yeah, I'm all right. I've not seen you for two weeks. Two weeks? It's been a week. Oh, is it? <laughs> Actually, I had a Saturday off. It felt like two weeks. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk to you today. Why? <laughs> we'll go stretch our guests. Okay. Are you going to introduce Watch her start going, woo! Like, we're just talking to you. <laughs> She'll get more like, oh, did you just flex? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> did you just flex? <laughs> oh, who flex? Jiggling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, welcome, Georges. Thank you. Welcome. Is it George's? George. Yeah, George. Well, she said that to me. She was like, you've got to stop calling him George. It's George's. I was like, no, it's not. It's it's not. Attention to detail is really important to me. Is it? Well, I'll yeah. go now. So should I go as yeah, well? Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll go for okay, you. Yeah, we'll <laughs> just do it together. Let's do it together. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. <laughs> this illiterate bitch. <laughs> I mean, you said it, I was thinking it. <laughs> You know, different ways. I've yeah. never heard yeah. it. Obviously, you've heard it. <laughs> I've said it. I've heard it way too many ways. Yeah, and I just kind of get on with it now. Do you? So yeah, George is the correct way to say. I was it. saying George. it really good, George. Yeah. yeah, I should be good at it. You just got to give it a bit of attitude, but you've got attitude. So I know. You're I can sweet. imagine it being like an artist, like George. Yeah. Yeah. Zhuzhi George. Zhuzhi George. Zhuzhi George. There you go. There's your. There's there your, we go. There's, George. there's your aftershave for you. <laughs> <laughs> I should get it right. My first husband was called George. Yeah, but it was Singular. George. Singular. Yeah. yeah, there was only one of them. Well, there's two of me. <laughs> one at the top, one at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking one for dancing. Oh, dear. <laughs> right. Um, so, um, why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing. I'm looking at you to see what you're going to say next. Oh, okay. Just waiting for you to leave I the thought show. that we would... Um, welcome. Thank you. To Wedding Mayhem. Nice to meet you. Scott. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, like, yes, yes, yes do some more. <laughs> you sang Happy Birthday to him while you did squats, that was fantastic. I did, Yeah, actually. I'm a year older now. Oh, I did, I forgot I did that. It's so good. We haven't. Um, so, <laughs> told you, pervert, groomer. Yeah. <laughs> groomer. <laughs> Brilliant, right, okay, so we're going to, I thought we would start... Um, by unpacking um, the recent news article um, that, that landed on our doorstep a couple of days ago. Yes, okay. Um, so, for content. So have you not seen it? I've seen a few. Was so it in the sun? Which one you're talking about? Uh, yeah. It was in, in the, the sun. sun. <laughs> so, married at first sight. You all want to say George's? Because <laughs> you've got him you written down. Me... <laughs> they can't spell your name for start. Where? In the sun. Yeah, they can. Is that right? That's spelled correctly. Right, right, so she's just you announcing me. This. Letters and words yes. aren't my forte. Nor my, nor mine, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Um, Whatever you just said. Okay. <laughs> Peggy thirty three claimed that his decision to split. She believed he was cheating on her. What? Oh, really? Have you not read it either? Well, I've read some of it, but I got bored. Yeah, well, because it's that's riffraff. A start. So did you did you split on Valentine's Day? So we we were meant to be on a break. So we had this conversation we were and on a break. we were like I was like I'm not sure like what's going on. I'm not very happy at the moment. I need to figure Why things out. Why weren't you out. happy? Um probably because she didn't make me happy. Right. That's the reality of it. But I think I was holding on to this idea I had in my head of this person or this person that I'd been made to believe. You know, when you when you fall for someone, you always see, you always see that you try and see the best in them. And I learned from a young age because I'm a big personality, I'm a big life character. I've always said to people, I will make my own decisions on them. And people always have their own opinions of people, and people are always like, she's delusional, she's this, she's that, she's not very nice, she's not very nice to you. And I never saw it. I never saw it because I just saw. 
So guys, we've got some exciting news. Why are you hitting me? <laughs> so um, we are doing a competition, thank you to Mori Lee, um, so you can win a wedding dress with us. Yeah, up to £1,500, so it's a really big prize. Um, it pretty much covers all their dresses, you know, so there's a few that go over, but not many. Um, all you do need to do is go to our socials, Love Me Do Brides and also Wedding Mayhem. Tag two brides. Tag two brides. And share it to your posts, your feeds, your stories. Yeah. Um, Just share, the, it, hell yeah. share really. the hell out of it, really. Share the hell out of it. You can do it as many, you can enter as many times if you like. Um, and you do need to subscribe as well. To yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel for Wedding Mayhem. That's really important. You must do those three things. So like <laughs> or bad us. things will happen. <laughs> No dress for you. <laughs> uh, but you can enter as many times as you want. If you've already bought your dress from us, um, or you need to order your dress, because don't forget, this, these are made to order, so it can take up 16 weeks. So if you haven't got that time frame, get your dress order in now. You have to do it via us. Um, it's us as stockists only that are running this competition, nobody else. Um, but if you buy your dress, you can still enter, and we just refund you afterwards. And it runs till the end of May, so good luck. Get going, get entering. Who were these people in your ear? Um, my closest friend. Right. Uh, my friends that uh, I told them about things that she'd done. Um, people on the show. A lot of the boys. Um, didn't really speak to many of the girls on the during the show. Um, most of the boys were like, that's not normal. She shouldn't kind of speak to you and treat you that way. And I was like, no, 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 that's fine. Like, I'll make my own decisions. It's my relationship. I'm in control. Because people don't see the whole thing. Exactly. Do they they yeah. don't see the whole thing. But then it's when you have camera producers and camera operators right. who are telling you, don't be her stepping stone, you know, don't do this, don't right. do that, because she's not into you. Oh, so right. genuinely look out, look out for you. Every, like, th yeah, because I wasn't nasty. Because <laughs> I'm a nice no, guy. because well, yeah. I wasn't nasty. Yeah. I was never no. rude to anyone. No. I respected everyone who was doing their jobs who were behind the cameras. And I was just very much happy-go-lucky kind of having a laugh kind of mm. guy. And I never disrespected anyone. How did it make you feel when they said that she's not into you? Cause did you think that she was into you? Oh, yeah. Right. But then when you leave a relationship and you kind of take a step back. Yeah. And then you go, well, we never had sex. And then you say, well, she never came to mind. Like, how do you have a relationship with someone in 11 months and go to theirs four times? Because you're not too far apart. We're about an hour. Yeah. An hour and ten. You know so what? And I'm going to use the words that she would always use. I was an hour and ten. She would always say, it takes me two hours to get to you because of traffic. Well, right. okay, cool. So two hours for her, an hour and ten for me. Yeah. Cool, whatever. That's that's facts, okay? Mm. But, like, no effort was ever reciprocated. And I think when I took a step back and, you know, it was expectation versus reality. And it's everything that I keep reading that she said because I know what she's like. Whereas I don't care if people like me. Throughout the whole show, it was always, oh, you shouldn't do that. That's not normal. I want the others to like me. And I was like, but you're not here for the others. You're here yeah. for me and our relationship. Tell that, though. But you could. All she, yeah. cared, all she cares about is what others think of yeah. her. And it's sad because that's an insecurity of hers. Of course. And, and it's I a big girl thing as well. Yeah. And I always wanted to protect her because I wanted to, I always said to her, if I could go back in time and take you back to the point where before you had these insecurities and make them never happen so you don't have them, I would have. Do you know where it came from? Uh, I know she got cheated on when she was younger by um, a guy she was with for eight years. Mm. Um, I know that she's always been into men that are very successful and do really well and kind of pay for things and this, that and the other. And obviously in the article, she's like, oh, I used to pay for everything. Yes. I mean, my bank account would say completely different. <laughs> I can count three times that she paid for something. She paid for a brunch when I went to hers. Yeah. She paid for a breakfast in Paris. Mm -hmm. um, and she paid for a dinner when we went to Blue Water. The rest of the time, I would pay for absolutely everything. You know? Mm. You can... And, you know, it shows that she didn't make any effort because she didn't even come to see me. Did yeah. you speak, like, every day? Like, we a couple We spoke on the phone all the time, multiple times. She wasn't a texter. But she'd, I'd be middle of the gym session, and I don't want to talk to people whilst I'm in the gym. She'd ring me, hey babe, how are you? And I'd be like, fine, I'm in the gym, I'll train and I'll talk to you. That's fine, because, yeah. you know, I adore you, and you're part of my life, and you're my partner. So, it was very much like... Can you tell my other half that? Because he's just like, 
I'm in the gym. And I'm like, okay, bye. Yeah, like, well. Bye. And too nice, and that's my problem. Yeah. She just walked all over me, she took the piss, um, and that's kind of how it kind of went, really. Um, and then to, and then for me, I was always wanting to give it a bit of time and then kind of get back working at it. And then after we split up, I got contact by the, contacted by the papers, so I spoke to them. What, um, what, when, what date did you split up? Um... Well, she says we split up on the on the thirty first of yeah or the end of January. That's it, yeah. Um, when we had a conversation, but then I saw her a day later right. at a charity event, and yeah. I was like, I don't want this to end. Like, this isn't ending. Yeah. I was like, oh. I just think we need a bit of time apart. Okay. And then I and then I did a job with her the next day, and we were holding hands, we were kissing, oh. and we had a really nice conversation outside. And she was like, I think we both just need a little bit of time away from each other, yeah. and then we'll. Because you've just on. gone through an intense process, yes. haven't you? Yeah. And she was like, can you get your agent to reach out to mine? And I was like, fine. She was like, we could do a joint statement, say we're on a break, and go from there. And then I saw her on the Friday. So I saw her loads that week. First time in forever, because it was apparently once a week I was allowed to see her. Yeah. Um, and we went to a, a boxing event, which was when Jordan and Paul were boxing. And that was great. We were very much all over each other, having a really nice time. And then... As she left, I was like, make sure you get him safe. I was like, by the way, like, I've made my decision. Like, I don't want to lose you and I want to make this work. And then she kind of walked away. She was like, oh, don't take too long with your decision. I was like, well, I've just told you. <laughs> and then on the Sunday, she deleted our joint Instagram account and our joint YouTube account. Um, Who set those up? Did she set those uh, up or her management? I told her to set them up. Right. She made the accounts because she wanted so to she be control, kind yeah. of be in control of it. Um, she basically ran with the idea of me splitting up with her because I think she didn't like me, she didn't want to be with me, and she wanted to. She needed an excuse, but she because she cares about what people think of her. But she you didn't were want to be giving seeing, an excuse because you were yeah. saying you wanted to be. Yeah, together. so she basically just ran with it, right. and then that's when on Valentine's Day she was like, "Oh, this that and the other happened." And I was like, mm, okay, fine, cool, whatever. I was like, I was so to a point. Did you buy gifts on Valentine's Day? Yeah, I bought her stuff. She didn't buy me anything. I didn't get a card, I didn't get anything. I get, got a card, got a chocolate, got a flowers. Um, and I was going to plan, I, I actually, so something no one knows, but with Peggy, you would have to book a restaurant and then she changed her mind 18 times. So on her birthday, I rebooked um, six restaurants. No. Yes, I spent all day on the phone. Hi, sorry, I need to cancel you. Put uh, cancel on the table because she's just difficult. Right. And her favourite saying is, "Late is worth the wait." No, it's not when you're putrid inside. That's the truth. <laughs> so, I I'm happy to wait for someone who's a nice person. Yeah, of course. You yeah, know, yeah, but yeah. when so, you just take the piss. So, did you cheat? Uh-uh. I don't really have not you a down as a cheater. No, I cheated when I was younger. Oh, yeah, cool. I was I was seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> yeah, but I learned from my mistake, and people are like leopards don't change their spots or mm -mm, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. But like, I actually cared for this girl, yeah. um, and I thought that I was in it for the long run. Um, I said to her what I did was shady, but I was fully transparent with her. Yeah. I never said that it was a dude. I have a best. I have a very yeah, close so that's friend. So basically, I have a very it was, it's your ex-girlfriend dressed up as a boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have a very close friend called Taylor, who is a footballer. Right. Um, I used to work with him. Um, he was my roommate in Ibiza. Yeah. Um, to which in Ibiza he rang me. I went to bed early one night, and he rang me. He was like, "I've pulled a girl." Can I come back? And I went, yeah, sure, but I'm not going to be in the room. So I was like, I got up and left the room. Right. So I rang Peggy and I left her a voice there. I was like, hi, babe. Taylor's come back and pulled, so I'm just going to go for a little wander and just go sit outside. I'm going to give him 10 minutes. And, uh, <laughs> I was just going to say, I And, don't and do hopefully he'll be done. Um, to be fair, I gave him half an hour and he was done. Um, <laughs> okay. Good lad. Yeah. And, uh, but she got really upset by that because right. of her insecurities right. but I was like I'm being transparent with you I'm telling you exactly yeah. what I'm doing Yeah. just trust me I've never given you a reason not to trust me and then went to Winter Wonderland with my friend Taylor mm. and there was a picture of me and that night we actually bumped into one of the security guards from MAFS um, obviously because of all the issues that went on we ended up needing security 
Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, we needed security on the show because everyone was misbehaving. Oh, right, sorry, I thought you needed him at Winter Wonderland. No, 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 no I met <laughs> How him. How big is this <laughs> bumped, down? Right, yeah. Um, is that when you went? And, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I was with Taylor and his brothers all that night. Videos, pictures, like people yeah. coming up to me. Uh, where's Peggy? I was like, oh, she's, not, she's at home tonight. And then I got invited to a Christmas party uh, from the biggest agency in the country, Neon Management, or one of the biggest agencies. Really well known. Um... And my friend Taylor, who is a girl that I slept with mm-hmm. like eight years ago. We slept together once. Mm-hmm. She does OF, um, which oh. obviously Peggy's always had a problem with. Yeah. But she has a partner. Um, she invited me to that. So I said, as a thank you, I'm going to invite you to something. And then we went to a brunch together. And I was like, by the way, I'm going with Taylor. She's just been on stage and won a dance off. And she's won a drone. Yeah. She's like, what do you mean, she? I was like, well, I told you I was going with Taylor. Yeah. And she was like, you never told me that. I was like, yes, I did. I said, she's come from Devon and she's invited me to a Christmas party. Yeah. So in return, I'm going to invite her to something. She's an old friend. She's got a bloody partner. Right. Yeah. Like, who works with one of my friends has in she, the Marines? Pe- has Peggy met this Taylor? No. Right, okay. Peggy never met her. The fear of the unknown. A yeah, bit, of course. And it? I get yeah. that. And that straight away, I tried to reassure yeah. her, you know, everything like that. And then the night that I went out for the Christmas do, um, Taylor was there with her friends. She went home. She'd gone home by the time that I even left the party. Um, and I went home that night, went to the casino, got carried away, got really, really drunk, um, put a video on Instagram at like 4.30 in the morning. And forgot to message Peggy because I passed out. What kind of video? Just me walking the streets oh. right, right, by, <laughs> right, by, right, by, right by Winter Wonderland as well. I was yeah. literally because I was staying on by Marble Arch. Um, and next thing I know in the morning, I've got messages from her and she's being all shitty with me. I was like, I'm sorry, fell asleep, blah, blah, blah. I leave the hotel at 12 o'clock and I walk past a shop, literally a minute away from where I was staying. Mm. And I was like, oh, that looks like Peggy. I walk past and I go... Huh? What? That looked like Peggy. So I walked back, and she, there she is, sat in the shop, trying on some shoes. And I'm like, hi, babe, what are you doing here? Ooh, what did she say? She was like, oh, um, and she was all like sheepish with me. And I was like... So who's, who's lying now? I was like, you know it. She's like, I haven't slept in all the... She, you know, she went and she started getting upset. She's very good at doing the waterworks. Because no one knows this, but... Peggy and I, all of our scenes were natural. And some people are like, holy shit, like, how can she be like that? But they were all exactly how they went. You know, none of it was chopped and changed. We reenacted one scene once. Which was? Because we actually had an argument off camera. It was a scene where she storms out in Thailand and she cries. Right. Um, so we had to reenact it because um, we'd had a, a bicker. Yeah. But we'd resolved the discussion and they were like, we need you to redo it. You've screwed with... Is that with... not really awkward? Well, no, because she was extremely good at it. And she oh. just cried like that. Wow. And um, a couple of the camera producers caught wind of this. So when we came back, they were like, you know that scene you did with Peggy? I was like, yeah. They were like, never trust someone who can just cry like that. Right. And that is one of the sayings that stayed with yeah. me the whole process. And that's why I was like, who is this girl? Like, does she really like me? Because she doesn't want to get intimate with me. She doesn't want to get physical. Did you question things. yourself? I questioned myself all the time. That's why I broke down and cried on the couch. Because yeah. I was like, who am I? I'm losing who I am. Yeah. I'm this big, bubbly, energetic person. You and changed I'm... so much. Yeah, I, I, I went into deflated. a shell, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. I just lost myself. Because I was giving so much to someone who wasn't giving me the energy. And in life, you have radiators and drains, right? I'm a radiator, and she was a drain. Oh, I've never heard that before. I've obviously heard of drainers, but yeah. radiator and a drain. Yeah, so people that warm you and people that empty you. Yeah. And she didn't do the right kind of emptying, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Just nearly hurt myself. But frantically trying to find something out. Um, um, oh, um, my God. So I have to <coughs> mention this. So I apologize. I'm trying to remember, like, the, but I just remember the first episode... And me and John looking at each other and being like, <coughs> wow, this guy. Because it was just like, you were like, tits, tits, boobs, boobs. Was that legit Cannons. you? <laughs> yeah. Was that legit you? Um, yeah, that was me. Oh, my God. <clears throat> but, like, whereas watch all the cast and how they acted after the show. Yeah. Oh, it was the edit. I didn't do that. Yeah. I- I'm an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this moves, 
and this is me, yeah, and I'm yeah. doing this, yeah. Yeah. it was fucking my actions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, so just be an adult and own your shit. Do you regret um, the first I regret part? nothing. Okay. I was just going to say, nothing. you own it. I absolutely own it. I do not regret anything. I apologise to anyone who was offended by the words mummy milkers, calcium cannons, <laughs> melons, anything like that. Calcium cannons! <laughs> If you, if, you were <laughs> if you were offended, I am sorry. Like, I'm genuinely yeah. sorry because I didn't mean, I'm not there to offended. offend anyone. No. But I was, <laughs> I'm very out there. I'm very bullish. We've lost her now. I know. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm so bullish. And I was very much like, oh, this is a bit of a joke. I turned around, saw Peggy, and I went, holy shit. I was like, I've struck gold. Yeah. yeah. You know. Is so that your of, type, big boobs? No, I, I like beautiful women. So oh. actually, in the application process, I said I like white girls, black girls, Asian girls, yeah. blonde, red, gingers, anything. I do not mind. I love that you threw a red in there, but not a brunette. Well, brunette. Blood red, gingers. Obviously, I like, I like everything. <laughs> we're, I like, like, we're too <laughs> sensible. Um, I like everything. It's just about how I get on with you and if I find you attractive. Wait, when... um. You did your VT, yeah. and you said all those those yeah. sort of things. It, a lot of the feedback that was coming through yeah. was, "Oh, he'll take anything." No, oh, I yeah. wouldn't have been with any of the other yeah. girls. No, none of them were my type. Ella, um, because you have gone it, on a podcast and said that if you wouldn't have, yeah. this, this was in the early stages. Yeah, maybe. Um, I would have. Yeah, I mean. You'd met Ella before. I knew Ella you? before. Yeah. I you? met Ella in yeah, Ella and I DM'd years ago when I lived in Bristol. Wow. Um and then I met her in the strip club again a couple of years afterwards, being like, Why do I recognise this girl? Yeah. Never got danced, by the way. Um, <laughs> everyone else saw her foof apart from me and Peggy. Really? She would always show it, yeah, she'd show it to everyone all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah, like the channel protected her. The channel really protect her. Yeah. And she is a good egg, by the way. Yeah. She's a she really yeah. good person. Yeah. So much fun, so much energy. I think um, with something like that, you just have to protect. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Like, you know, the la like she got so much abuse from just being her. Yeah. And that's not fair. No. JJ got a load as well, didn't he? I think. Yeah, I mean... He's a Kate Price now. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh is he? What a lovely couple. <laughs> you know what? Katie's actually a babe. I met Katie. She's really nice. Well, she's local to us. Her, her, um, her 4x4 was parked around the corner. Oh, right. I play football with one of her exes. Oh, they were having their hair done. Her and... Um... JJ. <laughs> Uh, just going back finally to the article yes. Yes. Um, the single star says he doesn't have a proper job well I don't actually know if she's ever had a job no. I know that she quit her job to go on the show but I think out of all of them you were the only one really that did have a proper job because I you? have your CV oh do you well, how do you judge him I'm the researcher judge him CV <laughs> it looks like she has that's <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I mean, yeah, it's not all of it. But yeah, yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got a really good CV. Um, I would probably say out of everyone, you're consistent on on you know. She keeps mentioning it. you've got all these jobs, and yeah. and the dad said that you know yeah. you're not good at anything yeah, and stuff like that. But you're Can consistently you good at yeah. He did yeah. I've had some pretty good jobs. I've yeah. worked in you, like, so high you, level football. Yes. I was a rugby player. So I was a rugby up at, rugby player up until 21. Who did you play rugby for? Uh, I was at. Toulon Academy, and then I went to London Irish. Um, Toulon were European champions two years in a row, so I was there when they were there, um, and that was it. They were like the they were like the Real Madrid of rugby. They had all the money, and I I was the only academy like international academy player. So like I yeah, it was pretty amazing like upbringing. Then did personal training, and then realised that I wanted to work in sport, and I was never going to work behind a desk. So had to go and do a degree. Went and did my degree. I was the only person in my cohort who left my degree. I had one of the worst grades. Um, and I think I got 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I got 2-2. Two -two. Got ba bang average grade. And I and people got first. Pass, though. I got a job. No one else did. There you go. Because I'm a people person. Yeah. And I promised myself in my third year of uni, I said, screw the grades. They're not important. No. I said... Getting a job for my placement is important. Yeah. I got two jobs for my placement, which ended up basically being full time. Yeah. COVID happened, went and got another job, worked there for two years, left, went to another club who screwed me financially, promised me twice the amount of money that I ended up getting. Mm. So I then stopped, 
got a phone call from maths and I went, right, I'm going to resign. Time is now. I'm going to do yeah. maths, see what happens. Yeah. And here I am. I did some online coaching before and I had like yeah. private clients and stuff, but I've never not had a job. Yeah. Like I played rugby from a young age. Yeah. But the um, career path's the same. It's, it, it's making it out that you, you've done this job and that job and, and, and stuff like I've that. I've always yeah. been involved in, in rehab, fitness, yeah. sport, yeah. health, well-being. Yeah. There you go. I've never been... I, I, yeah, I did modelling. Yeah, I did extras work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did but, modelling. But like they're, they're like a side hustle. <laughs> you know, they're like a side hustle bit of fun. If I go and get six jobs a year and one of them pays out 10, 20 grand because yeah. you're visually recognisable, you're laughing. Yeah. That's, well, that's you? you know... What's, the, wor what's the worst <laughs> job you've ever had? Not just talking about career-wise, but like strategy jobs, that sort of thing. What have you done? Worst job? Pretty lucky. I don't want to say I've had a worst job. I played the role of an extra once, um, and they it was for casualty. So this is probably yeah, the worst yeah, experience yeah, yeah. I've was had. That the right one? Or was that on the job? Oh. I, I, you work with I don't know, you just made really weird noises. I thought you'd become a wasp. My job. That's really good. That's no, okay. rubbish. What's going on? I thought we were a team and we were just. Oh, playing. shit, okay. Um, so, yeah, I got booked for fine. three days on casualty. But well, who were you playing? I was just an extra. Yeah. So, I was just an extra on casualty. Oh, you were just walking about? You yeah, were yeah. an injured yeah. person? Or... I was the biggest bloke there. I yeah. stood out. How tall are you? I'm 6'1", yeah. but like I'm, I'm broad. Yeah. They didn't use me for eight hours. They then tried to sign me off an hour early when I looked at my watch. I went, no, 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 like, I'm le you're giving me this document now and it was signed for an hour ago. Yeah. And they were like, oh, okay, one second, came back, got a phone call on the way home, being like, oh, apparently you're really rude and aggressive towards one of our <laughs> staff members, so we're going to cut you for the next two days. Oh. <gasps> And by the way, like casualty money is rubbish. What was that? It's like 80 quid or 70 quid. Yeah, yeah. But Did like you... I was a student, so I was just like, I'll take whatever. Yeah. I um, mean, it was three days work, so it was guaranteed money, and they cut me because I was rude aggressive. and aggressive. I'm not aggressive, God. and I'm just condescending as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> any, other, any other jobs you've had, like Saturday jobs? No, as a kid, no. no. Uh, I've only had four jobs. What, what are you? So, me? first one was... Podcast host? <laughs> Oh my God. Is this the most this? <laughs> um, no, I was in a salon from when I was doing my GCSEs. I had it all set up because that is literally what I wanted to do. Yeah. Like, I loved it. And then just had a really bad time with people there. Mm. So that had that dream was wiped. And then I, all my friends were at college. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I was like, and again, I'm not really into like, the college uni life yeah and then worked at next loved it mate had some like really good friends there and then when i was uh, 19 started working at my big office job so worked there for 10 years oh. and then covid come and <laughs> i was selling travel insurance at the time oh, but i was shit. waiting for redundancy because i've been there so long i was waiting for it so they were like gonna make you redundant i was like yes yeah. And then yeah, so then had that and then I was able to do the big move from my flat to my house because I had a, a wad and it was yeah. when they stopped doing stamp duty. So yes. it made us let us oh, do amazing. the big jump. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, and then turned up at your door. You did. I literally turned up, I knocked COVID times. We weren't oh, really? to let my mum in. I had baby in the back. <laughs> yeah. So Elsie Ray was like I don't even well she was a baby. She was in the back and my mum was like I just think she just needs to see you. <laughs> I sent my CV. See you glow. Yeah, mum was like, just let her see you. Just turn, just knock on the door. Mm. And I was like, okay. She was like, honestly, Lauren, and I really wanted to work there, like, so much. Doesn't now. And then, like, Sharon's, like, turned up. And she, not turned up. You open the door and you're like, I was cleaning. Hello. I and I was like, happened. hello, what do you want? I was, I was yeah, like, I really want to work here. I used to drive past as a little girl and, like, just oh, want to work cute. here. I love it. And Sharon was like, me. Sharon's like, have you checked your emails? And I was like, no, she's like, I emailed you and I was like, oh, wow. And then that was it, wasn't it? And well, then the what did you do? You rang story. Georgia. Who Georgia was said like, no. No, she didn't. She did. Oh, at my CV. Because yeah. <laughs> well, it, it looked you. like I was like a big oh, Georgia person. Okay. But no, and then you rang Georgia and you went, I found her. Found her. I did. Like I was baby Jesus, as my little girl says. Baby Jesus. <laughs> he, she go, yeah, she found this little picture because my nan was Catholic and like it was all very religious. 
and then uh, I found this little picture of baby Jesus and she's actually been learning about school because it was Easter mm -hmm. and then she was like oh she was like I need to take this to my teacher of like, baby Jesus <laughs> but she like says it how my nan knew so she's like baby Jesus Jace. Yeah, because yeah. Well, both really of you like glamorous jobs. I've, I've worked in a fish factory. Oh wow! Packing crabs. Oh my god! Wow! Waiting for the jokes. Crab tastic. <laughs> <laughs> Bit crabby. Yeah. Made ice cream. Mr. Crabby. Made donuts. <laughs> Who's the guy from SpongeBob? Mr. Crab. Is, is it Mr. Is it? Crab? Yeah, was it called Mr. Crabs? That'd be a funny. Mr. Crab. No, it's just called the fish factory. Ah no. oh, well, it would have been awkward <laughs> if you caught crabs. How many from jobs it, do you but... think you've had? Oh god. <laughs> Too many. Oh my god. But in between like proper jobs. I've done like double jobs. I mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like fillers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've worked like full time jobs, like I've worked in restaurants and, and pubs while I had a day job, so I'd finish the day job and then go off. I suppose I, I worked for my parent in my parents' restaurant as a kid. I did the bar a little bit. What kind of restaurant? A uh, French restaurant. Oh of course. Of course. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> Can't just assume. Yeah, assumption is the root of all <laughs> evil, actually. Yeah. What is like the main French dish? I don't think I've ever had French food. Snails? Do, do you like snails? I love them. Do you? Yeah, what? they're just like bogeys. The <laughs> my, my husband's <laughs> texture. My husband's really like, weird, right? He doesn't doesn't eat most fish. Are. He, he doesn't eat <laughs> fish. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> eat <laughs> potatoes because they taste they they taste of mud. But if we're aware, you're meant to wash them. You're not meant to pull them out I of the know, ground and eat them raw. He's a farmer's son, but he but he loves a fish cake, uh, and he's he's quite. I think he needs to be hypnotised. I know someone. <laughs> or or get a different cook. What's that? Mine are muddy. But, he, <laughs> but he, at home he's pretty not my muddy not, not basic on his food. But when we're abroad, yeah. he goes full in. All so you can eat. When we, when we go to Paris. Yeah. It's literally frog, frog's legs and snails. Yeah, so they lots of fish at the restaurant. Yeah, um, fish. Your classic um, fillet steak. Yeah, um, oh, I like steak. Lots of like lamb chops and stuff like that. There'll be um, snails. We didn't really do uh, frog's legs very often. They didn't go down well. Um, Boeuf bourguignon. Um, um, you've got moule frites, so mussels and chips. Oh, um, foie gras, yeah. pâté, that kind of Love stuff. Love pâté. Yeah. So yeah, really I love, good. I love pâté. Uh, creme brûlée for dessert, creme caramel, those kind of stuff. What does yeah. mum cook you when you go home? Um, I don't go home very often anymore. Um, when I go home, whatever I want. So oh. but normally we go home, we do like steak and chips and stuff. Because you've got another brother, haven't you? I do. I have an older yeah. brother. Older yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, I see him from time to time. We go. We normally go over his, um, because it's kind of like down for me and across for mum. Right. Um, and yeah, obviously I've got a nephew, so. Yeah, oh, is he as awesome. crazy as you, or are you no, completely we different people? Polar yeah. <laughs> he looks like mum, acts like dad. So dad's quite a man of very few words, quite quiet. Mm. Looks like mum, kind of fair hair. Mm. I look like dad, mm. um, and act like mum. Absolute nutter. Oh, I love my that. My mum is a hoot. Is she? Oh my I'll god! Do you go out on the town it. together? No, we don't go out on the town no. together. But like, I can sit on the phone to mum for hours. Really? We just chat. Oh, like that's shit. lovely. Oh. Yeah, but she's what a do, babe. What do they think about your your? Um, life? They they liked Peggy only when she treated me correctly. Did they meet her? <laughs> yeah, finally. Um, she cancelled twice on meeting them. Right. Um, oh. And she's a big family girl. Because so like, this really was, a, this was one mom. of the questions yeah. that came in. Um, that yeah, yeah. Why? Why? No, sorry, why? Twice. So she went yeah. twice. Why, why didn't um, she meet the parents? Once she wasn't meant to. So we did a scene <laughs> at Homestay and right. we went to my family restaurant and it didn't make the cut. That's um, so sad. I don't remember and my that. parents were there. Oh. And I told them I was going to be there. Um, and she went to the toilet. She left the scene and I was chatting with the boys. And she came back after being in a grump with me, tapped me on the shoulder. She went, Don't worry, babe. Everything is going to be okay now. And I went, Huh? What? I was like, you're being cryptic here again. Like, talk to me like a human. And she was like, don't worry, I've met someone really special. And I was like, huh? Eh? And so she met my mum. And for her, oh. she never really got on with her ex's parents. Right, okay. So for her, getting on with someone's mum was really important. Thing, yeah. But then the weird part about it was that every time I was like, let's do something with my parents or let's go for dinner, yeah. she'd like cancel. Yeah. And it's like, you're a big family person and you want to... You want me to spend time with your family. You spend all this time with your family. You know, like, 
80% of her week is family, family, family. For me, I find it a little bit weird and obsessive. Too much. I think it's too much. Yeah. She's got a lovely family, by the way. Yeah. They are really, really nice. Um, you know, her mum really, really liked me. Um, her dad was a man of few words. I liked her brother. Her brother was fun. Um, he didn't appear? Uh, Did he he was there at the wedding. He didn't right. appear. Oh. But I spent a uh, boxing day with them. Um, and I absolutely terrorised them all at Cards Against Humanity. Oh, I, I won like oh, I can 12 you are to like, 1. Never they all had 1 it. and I had 12. Oh, but like I was very clever because I don't just put the same kind of outrageous answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I just put what fits well. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And just kept winning. And they were like, how are you so good at this? And I'm like, because I'm just using my brain cells. Yeah. So. Oh. Right, so let's go back into <laughs> Sue. Sue. I know it's going to haunt me. That is, Sue. isn't it? Sue. Previous episode, I, I went. I was doing my posh so I went Sue. 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 Were went, you pointing at Sue? No, no, no. Sue. She went. Excuse me. I was like, where's Sue? Sue? <laughs> oh, where is the family restaurant? Uh, in Romsey. So That's we don't own it anymore. They, they, my parents sold it, um, oh. but it's owned by people that used to work there. Oh, oh lovely. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, it's called La Parisienne in Romsey, which is like oh, Southampton area. Child. Means uh, ladies from Paris. Oh, I um, like that. So yeah, there's just one owner now. Uh, the other one sadly prostitute? passed away. But no. I knew you were going to say something about prostitutes. Is it not? No. Why are you... Sharon's going to be like, vous les vous coucher à trois? Yeah, I can't. I can't string two words at alone five. Do you know what that means? <laughs> no. I swear everyone what does it knew. Mean? Would you like to sleep with me tonight? No. So I, like, I didn't know that. Don't shut me down. Like I that. That's so out. rude. She'll leave it. She'll whisper I didn't it. Know that. I didn't so know. would you like to sleep with me tonight? You're like, no. <laughs> Married. Oh. <laughs> it's the third one, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> no. Right. How did you apply? What made you apply? So I applied for season two, actually. Right. Um, so obviously I did Slevs Go Dating years ago. Um, I was actually meant to do Love Island. Right. So season three, Love Island, I did something called the dry run. So that's basically when they put 11 people in the week before the show starts and they test the cameras, they test the games and they see who they like. And they normally put one person on from each series. Our series, I had two <coughs> and they loved me. Like they sat me down. They were like, we absolutely loved you. Like you, you had us in hysterics for 48 hours and something really weird. Peggy did the dry run as well. No. What, same series? And no. So she did it in series eight. Right. So the COVID year. Um, yeah. I which is really weird it, because no one else on the show had done that. Mm. And no one else knows about it. So that's something we had in common, which was really rare. Yeah. Because there's only 11 people a year that get to do that. Wow. Um, I'm surprised she would have done that. Mm. Well, she did, you know, she did... Um, to get your body out. Take me you? out and mm. stuff. Oh, she likes getting her body out. In bikini, she likes being in a bikini. She likes to flaunt her shape. Oh, she's got a good figure. Yeah, she got yeah, yeah, yeah. body like a race car, yeah? Oh. Beep, beep. Where <laughs> 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 um, were well, well, we? Anyway. Oh, I feel like this um, needs to be an evening thing. Um, yeah, we need a glass <laughs> of wine now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, so, yeah, did, did that. And then kind of from there, ended up getting phone calls all the time. Just being like, will you do this? Will you do this? Will you do this? The band like, was no, blowing no, up. No. I was like, no, like, I'm not interested. Like, I'll only do a show. I needed a big brother, and then I was like... Oh, you'd rock big brother. Couldn't see Love Island, but big yeah, brother. Yeah, see, I'm not... A, I don't look like a Love Island kind of guy, but no, I think no, no, I'd I terrorise... I think I'd terrorise the big brother house. Big I'd brother would be brilliant. i everything. Well, yeah. 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 You'd um, be like Nick perfect. with the writing. Don't. You, you'd oh get a pen. Oh, my God. Don't, because someone <laughs> you'd called get a pen me in Nasty there. Nick on during maths. No. They were like, oh, you're Nasty Nick. I was like, how am I? Nasty no. Nick. Who is Nasty Nick? What's a Nasty Nick? Is that Jordan? Did you not remember yeah. Nasty Nick? No, I never watched it. Oh I've never watched. My I don't God. watch TV. It's no, but this was when Big Brother was like good. It was the first one. Yeah, Didn't and he, he, was, he wrote on a yeah, piece of paper. Yeah, they're not allowed paper to. or pens. That's why I was like, you'd get a pen in. I knew you. I would. I'd yeah. smuggle it. Yeah. What? Where? <laughs> in his baguette. Oh, in my, in my baguette, because you get one luxury item, or is that just the jungle? No, I, think I can see something. you on the jungle. Oh, oh, don't please, please, oh. please, please. I'd be like, crabs in my pants. <laughs> please, get in. Yeah. I would, I'd love to do it. I'd be an idiot. I'd be such an idiot. Oh. Fantastic. What's well, your, like, what would be your biggest like fear of, if you went in the jungle? Heights. 
And not heights. Give the heights. Yeah, yeah. Not give heights. So the jumping out of the plane would be a terrible start. Oh do they do God. that anymore? Not all of them. Oh, okay. Some of them will go by land. Yeah, I'd, I'd shit myself with but that. The fact yeah. that Literally. You, no, the fact that that you just, just said it into that camera means yeah. that they are going to chuck you out the yeah. plane. That's fine. It's fine. Chuck me out of the plane. <laughs> so, I, I'm an ex rugby boy. I cannot be defeated. <laughs> you cannot. I will headbutt sharks. I will do whatever I have to do. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to eat a cock and test yes. on TV. Well, I, I, I yes. think you'd smash the eating. You would yeah. if you like snails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did yeah, protein I, but shakes. I vomit everywhere, but I oh, I still no. do it. I think you have to keep it down for at least thirty seconds, don't you, before you can vomit it out. Oh really? I don't, I don't know the yeah. time. I don't know. Mister Insider. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, you are allowed. To, you are yeah. allowed to spit it out now. But before, you, if you did it, then yeah. they, they disqualified you oh, at that point. Okay. So a lot of them, when they went back over the bridge, that's when they were all sick. Yeah. Okay. Over the bridge, so inside my bridge. Okay. Um, so go back to mass. So we've we turned yeah. uh, turned down Love Island. No, no, I didn't turn down Love Island. Love Island didn't get picked for yeah, Love Island because they didn't have a match for me. Okay. Got like. I think that's important, isn't it? If yeah, they didn't know but, that you're but gonna be it's not because they don't care. They oh, just right. want good TV. Okay. Um, so for me, yeah, like linked with shows, like ever since that Love Island kind of interview process, because yeah. you get put on a database and there's basically yeah. a note by your name well, and they're like also, funny yeah, or, or character. PAs or, jump from show to show and show. Yeah, you exactly. Know. So got linked with loads of shows. Anyway, Slave Go Dating came up and, and ended you got up doing paired that. With Chloe Sims. Sims. Yeah. Yeah. And did a first date, got on really, really well. Was she really nice? Yeah, we actually got on really, really well. Oh, She's I, a really nice lady. I really yeah. thought that was really going to work. Nice. I started watching her show. I, I thought really it was like going it. to as yeah, well. Yeah, and then I asked, I asked her on a date when we got back, and it was her answer for me that made me realise it was just a paycheck. Right. Oh. It was. It was just a paycheck yeah. for her. Because she was like, when we were away, she was like, she got drunk one night. She was like, why haven't you kissed me? Kiss me now. And I was like, well, like, I'll just save it for the final yeah. date. She was still in love, love with Mr. Wright at that time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think she was having a thing with Pete Wicks or something. I don't know. Mm, she yeah, was having a not, thing with someone. Yeah. But then again, I was sleeping with one of the contestants. <laughs> Which <laughs> one? I won't tell you. I'm not going to name names. I'll never say. But we went away to Crete. And I ended up sleeping with one of the girls, like, wow. most of the week. <laughs> Why haven't you kissed me yet? Because I'm kissing all Becky around <laughs> yeah. the corner. Did one of the... Um, I don't know why, that was Australian. <laughs> Did one of the, um, the mass um, contestants, weren't, weren't they on? One of the, one of the mixers? Yeah, Paul was. Oh, no, Erica. Erica. She was at my mixer. I met Erica yeah. years ago. She had blonde hair. Erica. Oh. Yeah, Erica, the... Uh, oh, that was with Jordan. The Jordan's. Scottish chav, yeah. 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 Oh my god, I literally just registered what you said. Okay. Yeah. You said yeah. that just so like Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. No, she's yeah. She's fine. <laughs> my sister done the mixer years ago and she hated it. Yeah, it's it's a real She was like Yeah, because savage. if you're not gonna talk to one of the celebs and you're not going on a date, it's, boring. it's just a piss up. Yeah. Oh, and right, then they okay. cut the booze because one of the young ones always gets really drunk really quickly. Yeah, she said <laughs> there was quite a few people that were yeah. smashed. Um so yeah, then basically applied for season two of maths, they got back to me and they were like, It's too late we've cast it and everything they were like we'll be in touch and I was like cool and then randomly just one day got a phone call from one of the ladies who looked after me on Slabs Go Dating yeah. she was like saw you applied would you be interested and I was like I will always entertain a phone call yeah. like, business anything just mm -hmm. I will always entertain a phone call and she rang me we had a chat and I went oh this could be fun this could be a bit of a laugh mm -hmm. excuse me um <laughs> I heard that. It travelled up my body. Sure, I was like, I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and basically from there, it just kind of happened. Yeah. Did my interview. We did episode four of Marriage oh, did you? Night. Okay. It, it, was, the, it, was, it was the last okay. one they did before with COVID. legal weddings. Yes, okay. Because I Based heard. Based on our one. I heard what happened. That apparently someone took someone to the dry cleaners. Ben oh. and Steph. Yeah, he's the guy that ended up on Big Brother. Okay, and basically made it out that she wouldn't let him out of the marriage. She was hanging on because oh, he had all this money because they had to sign him like a prenup and stuff like. That. Oh, they did have to sign a prenup. Yes. Oh, I heard they didn't. So, okay, so, so it wasn't um, and um, and then uh, uh, well, I'm assuming assuming because they talked about the prenup and everything. So yeah. I asked Steph. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so I'm and. and Steph was lovely, mm. and um, but it was the other way around where he was prolonging it for the cameras. He got a girl um, pregnant oh, um, while they were still married, and um, and then ended up on Big Brother. So he was in it for the pub. Okay, you know. So okay, it's, okay. Um, so, I know um, so yeah, mm -hmm. so basically did my interview, and they were like, well, "You'll hear back from us in a couple of weeks." And I know how it works. Like I was like, "Cool, whatever." 
Next thing you know, literally like a few days later, they were like execs howled with laughter at your video. What and was your video? Oh, I don't know because it's an hour interview and they just cut it into yeah. a minute. Okay. Oh, okay. And then the oh, execs wow. just watch. Um, <laughs> I. <laughs> I <laughs> you're like oh, I know funny one guy. I know one thing I said but I'm not going to repeat it because oh, it was not? really bullish. Okay, fine. Yeah. I said I, I'm basically Hugh Hefner God, without the nonsery. Oh. <laughs> like you know, I said like, I'm a ladies' man. Like I was like I'm Hugh Hefner without the nonsery, and apparently that just had them in stitches. Like loads of other stuff. Very like like yeah. I said, I'm bullish. Big character, bull in a china shop. Yeah. Um, if I make a mistake, I apologise and I mean it. Yeah. Um, like the booby comments. Mm. Um. But yeah, like just they loved it, and then I met them, and they were like, "What do you want?" And then I met the the matchmaker, and then I spoke to the psychologist. Um, How in depth is that? Fairly in depth. Yeah. You fill out a questionnaire, um, and they like do all these questions, and it was like a, a what? It was like a good. Do you hour. talk to somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you do. Okay. Zoom, everything's Zoom cool. Sam was like, "Are you okay?" It's like Big Brother. Yeah. Hello, voice in the sky. <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking that if it's just on paper. Yeah, no, no, no. Know. So um, everything's done properly, and then next thing you know, you get a phone call from like head of casting, be like, "We found your match." Oh, how so did I... that feel? Getting that phone call. Yeah, that was pretty insane. I remember being like, oh my God. I wasn't nervous until the day. Right. I felt so unwell. I remember sitting there in the chair with my boys, being fine, and all of a sudden just going, oh, God, I don't feel very well. Yeah. And it, I'd be like waves. And I'd be like, oh, I'm fine. I'd get up, I'd be singing, I'd be dancing, I'm having yeah. fun. I didn't have a drink. I think I ate a banana the whole day. Wow, and obviously yeah. our rubbish wedding food, because it's absolutely bad bug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. talk, so we're did you get that. to do like your suits? Did you have to pay for your own suits? No, they so they give it? you yeah, 500 budget. quid and the girls get 1,000. or they, No, the girls get 1,200 Yeah. and guys get well, 500. That's quite tight, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's they're that's really tight. So were you able to, because that's one of the questions, were you able to pick what you wanted? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I pick, uh, so for the wedding or? Yes. No. So they give you a document right. um, to which I wrote on the bottom, I don't care, it's not my day, it's my partner's day. A oh, wedding right. is about... The bride. Yeah. Well, yeah. The wedding is about a bride. I'm sorry, but yeah, is, the only yeah. thing a bloke should care about is one source of entertainment, mm. um, and how good his bride looks. Mm. And the it. rings. Oh yeah, but you know. <laughs> so rings? Did they get you rings? Uh, did you get to so pick? yeah, you get to pick. You get to pick. You get a wedding. From, you from, get a, from a, 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 a range of. No, no, no. Oh, in, America, in Australia, they have a really, really, really big budget for rings. Yeah. Mine looked like something out of a, a cracker. Right. Yeah, it was shocking. What was your budget for rings? Oh, I don't know. You don't get told. Oh, okay. So they just buy. They just give you options, and you could just pick. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's an yeah. A, B, or so C. So it's basically you get this whole document come through. Right. It's like like six options. What do you want on your tables? Peggy and I both picked cameras, because I thought we'd like memories. Yeah. Didn't appear. So Nothing we asked for, or that I said that she she can have whatever she wants, we got. Oh, yeah. Wow. Did um and when you're filming the ceremony, yeah, you know you just really doubt how you're about to pronounce that. Um, <laughs> like is else. it as long winded as they say that you have to keep refilming like you meet in each other? Are they like right? Can you just stop there and go back again, or is we, it real time? So we met once, and then they made her do the walk twice. I did my speech once. She had to do hers three times. So like she's finished her speech, and they're saying, "Sorry, Peggy, can you can you do and that they, again?" And then, we just do what we did, and then they're like, right, one more time. Oh, so it's not actually like a real... Well, it pr everything runs smoothly at the start, and then if they need retakes and stuff, because they, uh, they might need retakes, because otherwise yeah. if it's a shit shot, they cut the oh, yeah. you know, moment's gone, right? Yeah. So everything they capture is natural. Yeah. Confetti's only once, the walking yeah. out off is only once, the walking oh, in is nice. only once, yeah. but it's the speech. Um, okay, fair enough. Like, I did a speech on the day. Um, they didn't show that. No. They showed no. my best man, though. <laughs> wasn't it really bad? Like, no, it wasn't. Wild. It wasn't. Was it so he gave... So he said, this is a guide on how to date Georges. Yeah. And he gave three good things and three bad things. Yeah. To which they only showed the three bad things. And everyone was laughing at the bad things. But they showed everyone doing lookies when they're like... Yeah, wasn't it her sister's like reaction? I just remember. Yeah, well, was, like, this is one of the things that she said in the paper about yeah. the blue tick. I mean, that is a load of bollocks. What was because the blue do you want to know thing? something that's really she funny? She doesn't know what a blue tick was. So, do you what? know what? So, 
Peggy's now accusing me of saying I only did it for the blue for, tick. For the blue tick, right? Because you told her sister this. Apparently, I told her sister this. Do you know oh. what's really funny? Yeah. Is Peggy went to Vegas and she paid for her blue tick. And when I asked her about it, she went, "Oh, I must have just been given it because I'm important." <laughs> Literally. And then it took two months to get out of her that she paid for it when she was drunk. How much do you pay for a blue tick? Do you know? Well, it's, a it's a monthly you don't. thing. You, you, there's an option to pay for it, yeah, but you don't have to. So, and then we can blue tick. Also, anyone blue can blue tick. Um, and then the funniest part is when the show came out, she was like, "Are you going to apply for your blue tick?" And I was like, "Nah, I'm I'm in no rush." Like I was like, "I don't really care." Yeah. And she was genuinely being the one who asked me. So, have I you got find a blue that... tick now. Yeah, 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 you get it. You just you basically go. You put three newspaper articles in, and then they basically verify you. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you just have to be in the public eye or relevant. Right. That's oh. it. Yeah. Because I could have had it from years ago for, as a rugby player, but I never bothered. So, like, if I really wanted it, I could have had it. Because I was in the papers for uh, Sam's Good Dating. I was in the papers for rugby. I was in magazines for mm. rugby. Like, I, mm. I could have done it years ago, but I, I wasn't that fast. Like, I only did it because I got, I got advised to. Yeah. You know, but she was going on about it all the time. And this is what I mean. It's like... What she does is she's very clever. She says things that have an element of truth to it, but she puts her own spin on it to try and make herself like sound like, she's, a like she's talking about herself a well, little bit. I don't know why the blue she's, tick thing is her. I don't know why she's brought this out two months after we split up. Yeah. Like, grow up, move on. Like this is over. It, it, why it, are you still bringing it up? You're trying to become relevant. She's so yeah. desperate. To clutch on to being relevant, that she's tried to bring out another newspaper article. She had four shut down when I brought mine out. She had four oh. shut down. Why, why was she shut down? I won't name the publicists because oh. I don't want to do that to them. But there were four newspaper articles and magazines that contacted me and my agent, mm. being like, Peggy's trying to sell this story. Do you have a comment? And the comment every time was, I didn't cheat. She's lying. And everything you've seen is factually correct. Mm. And straight away they went, well, there's no truth to what she's saying, so we can't publish it. Oh, that's what... Oh, OK. So that's why they got shut down. So she right. goes on, you know, a radio station and a podcast and go, he does this, he does that. Not really. Yeah. You you said that I sold a paper, uh, you know, an article. Yeah. But you tried. Yours just didn't get anywhere because what you're saying is bollocks. Mm. Did you love her? Yeah, I did. And I was gutted. I was really, really gutted. But I I very quickly, I think, snapped out of it. Do you think it's because of the, what people have been saying to you suddenly was like, oh my God, this is, well, real. This is true. Like I said, the I, glasses I, come off. I would never listen to what anyone ever says to me because as a big personality, people have always judged me for how I am. Most of my closest friends judged me when they first met me. They were like, you are a fucking nightmare. But yeah. actually, I'm just, a, I'm a good bloke. I will, if you're at my table, you will always eat, you will always laugh and I will always have your back. You could be wrong. You could have done. You could have done murder, and I will be there. And I go, it wasn't him. I probably blame it was me. That's how. Oh, that's yeah. how I defend people. But like, oh no, just just fire your your shots at me. That's fine. I'm like a big sponge Make shot. Make me of well them. up. Yeah, but like you know. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You know, but like, you know, yeah. and, and he's some... He's just sitting there, I'll be like, cry. I'll be at the table and Sharon's just sitting there crying her eyes out. <laughs> yeah. I told you, she's going yeah. to start. Yeah. yeah. The dummy in her room. Oh, my God. Why was it there? Um, Because she... I don't remember seeing it. Is it like that? How could you not yeah, have seen it? It was no, a mannequin with a wig on and a face. It was, it was like shit four myself. Grand. <laughs> Four what? grand? Yeah, like, no, it's, 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 I'm gonna nick it. Made, made to measure to her, so it's made to measure for her. What? She does. What do she used mean? to do eBay. Oh right. Yeah, okay. so she used to sell loads of things on eBay. But the face on it wasn't her. No, no. it's just uh, God knows. Oh, I need to like um, look this up. But again, like it. this, is what I mean, like just weird things, like very, she very. She just draped her things. clothes over it. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, but she's always loved fashion, and you know. For me, I think that's why she did the show. You know, yeah. she never she never wanted to be with me when she found out certain things. She'd always go, Oh well I compromise because you you game and 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 you do this and I'm like I'm so surprised with what? the gaming reaction. Yeah. You know, I was watching it like, have I missed something here? Like what what is the problem? Yeah. I think when you meet your partner, you know, if you're gaming in your wise, pants it, or something. It, not, 
Not your, not that, that, that's funny. But like, when I think, <laughs> well, when people say like gamer, you know, you just think someone that's just sat there for days, not washed and they're in their pants. Like, no, like I'm the most what? hygienic person. The, the control? Yeah, you don't play. I'm not milking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just think if you, if, and if you make money from it, mm. it's bloody yeah. great. Yeah. I'd be and like, yay. It's a self funding hobby right yeah which actually i've built this amazing community and i have people that have a bad day bad week bad month and they just come in there just to laugh yeah because they need something that's and i do it as well it's a release for me yeah. because otherwise my life's way too serious yeah you know do you, do you speak to people on it so there's a camera <laughs> there's a camera and i'm talking to people that are watching me Oh whilst I play God. a game. I feel like Sharon would be like, do you remember when that game Halo and you used to have the big helmet? Yeah. I can imagine Sharon being like, hello, Georges. <laughs> hello, Georges. <laughs> you're like, you're like I mean, only one person's called me that before. <laughs> yeah, uh, George. <laughs> I knew a George. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play with the mannequin? Uh, I actually took the wig off it and put it on in the bed. <laughs> in the bed? Yes, yeah, so I was on her bed. You know what? I only stayed in her bed twice as well in 11 months. Oh, um, really? Because yeah. you weren't allowed to stay there during... Yeah. No. So literally that happened Obviously up until... you were until, allowed in eventually. Yeah, twice. Yeah. Night before we went to Paris and uh, Boxing Day. Okay. But it took a long time. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Um, so... I've got to ask you about Portia and the three-way kiss. Portia? Question. Did you do that? With me? Were you there? No, I wasn't. I wasn't no, there. No, no. That's why. But if somebody's you asked, a Porsche three-way kiss, what happened? Um, was he there? No, I, so I wasn't there the night that they all were downstairs. So who what, was it? So what we found... Oh, it was... Oh, I can't remember who it was No, now. I don't think it was a three-way kiss. I'm pretty sure they were all playing Spin the Bottle. Right. And she kissed, like, Nathaniel, Luke, and some of the girls, I think. Oh. Yeah, I know she kissed... Well, that's why I had a go at her. Because I was like, yeah. you can't be saying that Terence can't do that, but you're allowed mm. to do it. It's double standards, you know. She was a nightmare. But really scary. I would like to say one thing. Thank you, Portia. Because without her, the first three weeks of our show would have been what? Fucking crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dinner parties would have been, so who wants another cup of tea? It would have been yeah, really boring. boring. Everybody's guarded at that point. The, the um, dinner party, she is, that, was is, that, brilliant. is that filmed during the day or at night? Um, starts at about 11 o'clock. The mixer starts... At night? No, 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 in the, in in the, in the morning. In the morning, okay, yeah. yeah. So you start uh, about... We get there for about 11, yeah. uh, 10, 30, 11. Yeah. We then get fed. We then do the mixer, yeah. which will last a few hours. We then have to do our voxes. So you vox after everything you do. So that's like the, your little interview bit. It's your basic yeah. interview. Yeah. And 98% of them will not be used. Right. Yeah, right. like just won't be used. So the, the dinner party is one full run. You don't get pulled out to talk about. No. Right, okay. Um, they slot those in. No. Um, one thing actually did happen. Now, I won't say who, but Please. one of... No, I won't because <laughs> I will get in really big trouble. One girl uh, groped one of the boys... What, um, not her boy? No, not her boy, yeah. Groped one of the boys really inappropriately oh. and he kicked off. Front bottom or back bottom? Um, front, front. Okay. So basically <laughs> she grabbed his cock oh, and okay. um, he got pulled from the scene and got told not to bring it up. So I won't name names, oh, but no. that got that actually happened. No. And was it jokey? Or no, was, it, it, it was like... Of course, straight away, it's, oh, it was only a joke, you know. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it, it wasn't a joke, and he was actually really pissed off by it. Oh, but wow. I won't name names. I'm just going to no. leave it at that, because I could get in big trouble. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. He got pulled out of the scene, got told to stop making a fuss of it, and, you know. <gasps> oh, what got shushed? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, which is mental, because if it's the other way so around, she's on the other foot, I'm telling you now, there would have been would've, a big problem. That would have blown up. Yeah, that is true. Um, who was the gossip leaker? I don't know. I got accused of it. I know, you, you were I front runner. I got accused of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was like, you know why me? So basically, after everything basically, was filmed, everything, everything was came out like yeah. so quickly. Yeah. Like literally rapidly. Wow. Yeah. Talk about game playing. Yes. We have a game. Okay. Do you want to play it? I do. You can keep clothes on. Why? <laughs> 
Sarah's like, hey, Jesus, who said that? Who said that? Oh, okay. Oh, this is great. The wheel of fun. You might actually be able to give us ideas to update it to make it more fun. It's our version of spin the bottle. Okay. But decent. So give it give it a spin. We'll give you two goes. Ooh. Ooh la la. Smoochy smoochy. But who was your first kiss? What on the show? No. No, like ever. in your life. Oh, um Please don't say your mum. No. <laughs> Never kiss my mum on the lips. Um, that's a really good question. I would probably say. I would probably say uh, one of my first girlfriends, which was the Bournemouth Football Club's uh, daughter's chairman. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So, Am I? Sorry, the Bournemouth Football Club's chairman's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. So that was it. So in top number, how old no. you were? Uh, I would have been young. How young? Oh, like, oh, actually quite you. young. Actually, no, not She's that young. young. It would have been like 13, 14. <laughs> my, my first I did kiss nothing was as a seven. Kid. Oh, yeah, like, seven. oh, I don't yeah. remember that far back. <laughs> I don't remember that far back. I'm going like 13, 12, 13, yeah. <laughs> You mean real serious kiss? Yeah, like a real kiss. Smoochy, smoochy yeah. kiss. Who would, you lo- who would you like to kiss next? Please say Ekin Sue. Oh, no. oh yeah. Sharon's oh, like, my God. Sharon's like... I would love to kiss Ekin Sue. I'm telling you now. Like, I could she ch- likes international men. Bonjour, babe. <laughs> <laughs> would you like some baguette avec du beurre? Look into that, look into that, that camera and ask her to call you. Ekin Sue, give me a call. My number is bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> message me, I've got it. Yeah, um, yeah. I did actually message her. A little mole. Oh, really? She wrote me, babe. No. Ah. <laughs> You're not a heart went there, does it? I was it's like, like <laughs> I was getting quite excited then. I could definitely see that. Yeah, so I went to her and Davide's event, actually. Well, Davide's event was my first event I went to post-show. And I remember walking in and looking at her being like, oh, who's that? So I don't, I don't watch stunning. shows. stunning. She's absolutely ridiculous. She is like leaps and bounds above anyone. And... I was meant to get, and the, the photographer went up to me and we, he went, oh, oh, come here. I need you to get in the picture with Ekin, Sue and, and Davide. And then they had an argument just yeah. as we were about to take a picture. So they, they, he scurried off and I was like, hello. And she was like, obviously running <laughs> off. It was a bad him. argument. Oh yeah, they bickered all the time. Oh. Um, so yeah, Ekin, Sue, if you're listening, um, I'll send you a DM. <laughs> <laughs> A smile at the end, you want a thing. Shall I do another one? Yeah, go on in. Yeah. <laughs> you could go and get them off it. <laughs> Sharon's like. First rim job, what? <laughs> We do not want like, to be cancelled. Oh, look what it says. We finally hit the top now. Right, good, do it again. <laughs> oh, that's like the fastest one we've had. <laughs> Sharon's just like, okay. <laughs> you do realise it's going to land on it again. It won't. Oh, that was great. Date stay. Story. story. Sorry, it's my. Oh, name. story. <laughs> date stay. Yeah. Oh, good, sh- good one, bad one. Oh, shit. Best, sh- or like best date one. that you've ever had before. Um. Wow. I mean, your best date's going to be with Ek and Sue, obviously. Yeah, obviously. So my best date would have been, will be with Ek and Sue. Yeah. Um, my worst date. Oh, my God. You've really put me on the spot here. I can't think of anything. I've like climbed that. out of a restaurant window before. Oh, wow. No, I've never done anything like Helped that. Helped by the waiters. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay. And then she went out on a date with the waiter the following week. <laughs> Did you? Hit me. That was an elbow to the boob. Yeah. Okay. To, the che- to the right chesticle. What were they called? He was Italian. Oh, Italiano. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow, okay. Worst date. Oh, God, you've put me on the spot. I haven't thought about this in a while. Um, I would probably say... I don't know. They've all been great. Yeah, normally they're pretty good. I'm a good dater. I was a serial dater, not as in dating serial. Yeah, I was all a, killers. Yeah, yeah, all serial killers. <laughs> I was a serial dater before the show. I was yeah. single for like eight years. But how, you, oh you're, you've just had a birthday, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah. 21. <laughs> yeah. 21, yeah. Spring chicken. What date's your birthday? 2nd of March. 2nd of March. I think it's important to 
to date. Oh yeah, like so I know, know what I like, know what I know you, what yeah. I don't like. Um, yeah. and I'm so glad I did it when I was younger. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't call it a hoe phase because I was pretty particular with like who I sleep with and stuff. Yeah. Um, is the dating scene quite dire, like as bad as everyone says? Oh my god, yeah. Do you want to know how bad it is? Please so enlighten me. This is the funniest thing about the world that we live in. I missed out on Tinder because so, I was locked in before Tinder, uh, so I never got a play. Lock it in. Um, yeah. So I've done speed dating. What I found <laughs> recently is most people's personalities are centered around them having a dog, them liking spicy margaritas, um, or them having a hobby. That is it. Most people are one dimensional. They have nothing else to add. No. So it's like, oh, you have a dog. Amazing. And it's like, that is everything that they care about. That's all that they know. And that's all that they are. Margarita. I just used to throw in that I used to work at the fish factory. And that, that that's brilliant. Engaging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I used to work at Mr. Krabby's. And, um, <laughs> Mr. Krabby's. <laughs> and Crab then, free. like, when I say spicy margaritas, is in, like, that's all that people are drinking. It's like, oh, yeah. would, really? you, would you like, never had let's one. go for a drink. Oh, it's you know, and, or, or for example, like I said, it's like, oh, I go to the gym. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Like, I go to the gym. Yeah. It doesn't mean my personality is a 60 kilo fucking dumbbell. Or yeah. I'm, oh, hi, my name's George. I'm the Stairmaster. Yeah. It's like, I have so much more to me. I could bring to that. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's George and I'm the Stairmaster. <laughs> but like, talk, I will we, we need to talk <laughs> yeah. about, sorry, I'm interrupting you. Um, your business. Yes. So we've yacked about everything else. Um, so you are a fitness and rehab coach. So I'm an online coach and rehab specialist. Yeah. So I fix injuries. Yeah. And I help people <gasps> you, then, lose me. weight and kind of get ready for yeah. um, holidays, uh, family graduations, yeah. uh, weddings, you name yeah. it. And, that, and that's one of the reasons why we, why we wanted yeah. you here is because you do a wedding package, don't you? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So basically... I like to give people, so I have a couple of options and whatnot, like if people want to do a crash diet, I don't advise crash diets, because normally what happens is you crash, you lose a shitload of weight really, really quickly, pardon my French. It's not healthy, we and have them in the shop, healthy. and they pass out when they're putting their dresses on. Yeah, of course, the yeah, because they're just not eating. Um, I like to make people lose a kilo to two pounds a week, right. um, that's basically what my clients do. It's really sustainable. It's really achievable. No, but how do you do that? Is that through just fitness? So or? fitness and nutrition. nutrition so that, right. I, I, my thing is nutritional guidance and exercise. Right. So you work them and you feed them. Yeah. So I basically, okay. and most of my clients are eating more food than they've ever eaten in their whole lives. Like I've got people on 2000 calories and they've only been eating a thousand. I'm like, right. what you do is you deplete your body so much. It storms it. And then what happens is the second you start to eat again, yeah. you balloon because you store everything. Um, and also what happens is you then have more cravings and you then break your kind of like diet. It's yeah. not a diet I want to work on. I want a lifestyle change. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's what I do with my clients. I change their lifestyle. So they go from having crisps to having flavored rice cakes or they have go from eating a bar of chocolate a week to having cubes of chocolate. I'm not trying to restrict you from everything you do in life. I'm trying to educate you and teach you so that you can get to a point where you don't need me. Choices. And I go, fly little bird, go and live your life. And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 so much more animated than me. <laughs> so what I liked about what you, you do is that you're, in, you're personally in touch with these people. Oh yeah, I speak to them every day. Like I voice note yeah. my clients yeah. all the time. Like people, people DM me, so people DM me change, and I talk to them, or I send them a message, hi, how are you? You know, what are you looking to change? Seen, ignored. Yeah. Okay. Some other people, I get mid-conversation and they're like, yeah, this is great. What's the price? And I'm like, it's 150 quid a month. I, I think that's fantastic. It's a bargain. It is. So what I yeah. give them, it's a bargain. <laughs> yeah. They ask, can't afford that. And I go, why? God, I just can't afford it. Yeah. Oh, okay, but you can afford an unhealthy lifestyle. Yeah. You probably eat like shit. And, and you probably this don't is do it. anything. We, we do. And you're lazy as fuck. We do. We do. We, we do <laughs> oh, our, sorry. Did I say that? I'm sorry about that. That's why I did. But we, do, we, do, we do this in the boutique. You know, they're like, oh, no, because we do payment plans. Yeah. Um, and it's in house. There's no, you know, credit agreements mm. or, or yeah, interest yeah. or anything like that. And we break it down. It's like £19 a week. Almost or like, £5 a day. And we say, right, you know, like, oh, that's a bit well, what, what do you, what's your lifestyle? What do you do? Yeah. Well, give up a McDonald's. Give up Burger King. My God, they're expensive. Oh my god! Yes. Well, give up takeaways. Sharon takeaways treats us to lunch yes. on Saturdays yeah. Yeah. At, at work, yeah. and literally we have Burger King. It costs you like forty quid. Yeah. <laughs> Kira has taken to eating salmon bagels. I know it's the nice. seventeen-year-old. Yeah, oh. the young one. Yeah, she was in chicken nuggets before when she first oh, started. Wow. Now she's 
on the scale. Yeah. So you know, it's making it affordable. Yeah, and it's like I always, I always pitch it to people, and normally it's to clients. I say one takeaway a week at thirty pounds. They go, oh, just one, and I go, oh. Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, sh- oh, shit. You're it's, yeah. it's smoking one, as well. One a week yeah. at £30. Yeah. And some people are like, what do you eat for £30? I'm like, not nothing. You know, like, that's like like half a meal for yeah. most takeaways. Yeah. It's like one takeaway at £30 times by four is £120. Yeah. It's basically just paid for your coaching. Yeah. Or yeah. you have, if you're one of those people that go out every weekend, you go out four weekends a month. Okay, it's 100 quid. Because it is hundred quid. Oh, a month. Taxi, food, yeah. drinks, hundred yeah, quid yeah. at least. Yeah. yeah. Four of them. Yeah. That in a month leaves you fifty quid shy of paying for three months of coaching. Yeah. Like go. it's a no brainer. Yeah. Like yeah. It, I, and I'm they're not, getting fit and they're getting healthy. And and they're I'm, expanding I'm, their life. I'm, I'm like teaching going out you and I'm helping, yeah. helping yeah. you. Yeah. Because so many people sit there like I want to make change and then they DM me and they just want to talk to me. Yeah. And I'm like, you're wasting my time. Yeah. Like. I've replied to everyone. I get people go, get the fuck out. is that you? And I voice note them going, hello, Exhibit A. It's me. <laughs> exhibit A. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give a random name because I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. So you know what I mean? It's just like, it's me. Like, I'm not paying someone to do this. Yeah, I do it yeah. all myself. I do all my online check-ins. I do all my programming. I do all the nutritional stuff. I read books. I have years of knowledge yes i did it myself i'm doing it myself currently yeah you know i lost myself and i'm finding my way again yeah you know i'm yeah. already i'm already five kilos down since i started yeah uh six kilos down since i started yeah got another eight to lose in eight weeks wow yeah. and you are motivating yeah the text that you sent me made me get out and run i didn't run that day because oh, it, it was, wasn't motivating enough then was it well no because it was after we spoke because it was windy as hell and, and i and i saw yeah. as i was talking to that you I, I, got got that just, I didn't want my hair to get ruined no no you haven't seen my <laughs> hair oh, no, she don't give a fuck <laughs> that she <laughs> don't care <laughs> but this Honestly. man ran we, we were walking with his dog and got blown into my wheelie bin so i'm not, I thought, I'm not going out there but i did go out the next did you pick day up the trash um, it had been empty. That's why uh, I've gone over. Okay. I thought you were um, saying this man was chasing me, not running. <laughs> but, um, but your text to me did get me out the next day. And your text to me was, Jesus, who else is going to do it? And I thought, you know what? Jesus isn't. Jesus You're isn't. You're going to. Jesus isn't. Yeah. Uh, was it Jesus? Jesus. Jesus you know, so Jesus. yeah, I had Jesus. it. Only me. Only I can do it. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. I make my clients accountable. Uh, they need to take ownership. Yeah. Um. When I have a Zoom meeting, first couple of weeks, it's what's working, what isn't working. There's, yeah. a, there's an adaptation period. If you quit after a month, yeah. you're a fraud, a liar, and an actress. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm Bring him. Okay. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Yeah. I'm no BS. Yeah. The only person that you're going to fail is yourself because yeah. you're lying to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. like, I tell clients all the time, they're like, um, oh, I had a bad week. Okay. Why did you have a bad week? What did you do wrong? Do you need more from me? Yeah. And they're like, no, I should be accountable for myself. And I'm like, yeah, you should. Yeah. But as your coach... How can I help you? I, <laughs> how how can I it? help you? Yeah. And they're like, I need a bit more motivation. Okay, I'll text you every bloody day. Yeah. Have you been Get to the gym? Out. Have you not had your coffees? Yeah. Why are you being a lazy piglet? Yeah. You know, <laughs> I heard you oink. That's Why are you so oinking? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, what are your thoughts on BMI? Load of bollocks. I'm classified yeah. as obese. Yeah, That's mad, isn't it? I'm not it? obese. I have yeah. muscle mass. Yeah. I'm a little bit chubby in the middle yeah. right now. I'm soft, like Play-Doh. Yeah. But I cannot. Yeah, oh, this is me It's now. rubbish. Be I, I, apparently, I can be free stone lighter. Well, no, like, <laughs> I, I could be a little bit lighter. But, I mean, like, anyone could be free I, stone lighter. But... I would look like really... But that would be normal, and I'm just like... Yeah, but you have oh to... It's all, yeah. So it's like, um, it's like with anything. You take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah. yeah. If it says you're very obese, are you visually obese yeah. yeah 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 because yeah we have visceral people, fats pe- and stuff but people but... look at themselves differently we have it in the boutique where we have girls that have lost so much weight yeah. that still see that bigger person in the mirror the body and we, have, is a and big we thing. have it the other way and it's very very hard but that's because comparison is a thief of all joy yeah. we i tell humans, myself this all the time because i'm yeah. really bad for going on we sometimes have i have in instagram yeah. breaks because i'm like everyone's living their best life we and compare then... ourselves to what we see on social media yeah. what we see from other people your success will be very different to another person's success yeah. Yeah. your journey will be very different to another person's journey stop comparing your journey to exhibit a person yeah. a person Do your journey. B. I saw a really do good you thing. focus on you focus on the main things 
what makes you happy, yeah. your happiness, yeah. Yeah. and what turns you on. Yeah. Because it doesn't have to be sexual to turn you on. Something that okay. arouses you and excites you. Yes. You know? <laughs> well, we went really quiet though. We were like, right, where are You were like, where's he going with this? <laughs> See, I didn't turn it inappropriate. So um, you do do a wedding package and, um, and, and and a lot of our couples like to get fit before the wedding. Yeah. And we always say, it's not for the wedding, it's for the honeymoon. Oh, you know? yeah. And, and mentally, I think if you're fitter, you're prepared for all the things mm -hmm. that come your way while you're planning a yeah. wedding. Yeah. Where can everybody find you? Uh, you can find me on social media, okay. Instagram, which yeah. is and you run Yeah, and you run your own. I run yeah. my own stuff. I know this. Yeah, 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 I run my own stuff. <laughs> got your CV. Uh, at Georges Burt, so G-E-O-R-G-E-S-B-E-R-T. Yeah. yeah. Just send me a, a DM change or send me a DM with whatever. So I'm getting, I'm getting married. I wanna, I wanna lose yeah. some weight. And they headline it, change. Yeah, change. But they don't you, have I to. You I see lots. everything. I right, see okay. every message. Yeah. You know, I see every message. So even if you don't put change, yeah. And I see that you're trying to inquire about coaching. Yeah. Have you got a website? Do. Um, I don't anymore. Right. I changed because that was my when I used to do more rehab stuff. So at the moment, it's just all via DMs. Yeah. But I'm sorting some. I've got my landing page and stuff. So I'm yeah. in the process. Of I think you're doing the rehab kind of stuff. stuff. So you still doing the rehab type? Yeah. So I have. I currently have five of my thirty-five clients yeah. that are rehab based. So they yeah. came to me because they have an injury, but they want to get fitter and fix their injury. Yeah. So I give them rehab to do. Six for you. At, at the this same will be, price. This will be me in three weeks' time. Yeah, but at the same price. <laughs> Yeah. It's all included. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. rehab will just be part of your warm up. You need to put your prices up. No, for the Wait, moment, no. But not for our brides. Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. Um, so it's like I give you a warm up, which is rehab focused. Yeah. So you do it every day. Or there might be two or three sessions to do. And then from there, you will do your sessions. Fantastic. Yeah. I've got a little present for you. Do you? Yeah. Have you had a good time? I've had a great time. Oh, it's been so fun. Is this over already? Oh, can you, can you come back? I'll come back. We can come back. Come back. Come back and see. Oh, can we be bridesmaids? Yes. I've never oh been a bridesmaid before. I'm a, I'm a beekeeper. Oh. So there's a little thing of honey for you. Thank and you you're quite so local much. Because you're quite local to me, actually. I am. Yeah. And your very own mug. Thank you very oh, much. Look at that. <laughs> Do you like honey? Hate I it. do. Do you? Yeah, I actually don't mind honey. Um, Thank I've got, you so much. I've got another present. Oh, no. What I've got a present for you as well. Oh, I don't think I've told the... I've not told you, have I? Oh, my God. <laughs> the boss is looking at me going, oh, my God. Um, you need to... Can you... Look at your big, strong boy. Hold the bottom. <laughs> You're such a really big, strong boy. tight. Perfect. Right, so both of you have birthdays. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Did you make it? Because I've seen some pictures of what Sharon's made. Is it shocking? If it's a baguette, <laughs> it's going to look like a giant dick. Have you made a Can we see dick? a giant dick? So I'm good at making cakes. Are you actually? Oh, but I'm shit at decorating She's not aesthetically them. Oh, good at making okay. cakes. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I can't. I don't want to look. Is I this can't. where I have to act uh, really happy? Oh, my God. <laughs> is that foreskin? It's not foreskin. What is that? Is that foreskin? Oh, is that a blowtorch? <laughs> that's amazing. Do you know what? That's not bad. No, my that's husband all right. said it's your best ever, Shazza. Yeah, that's actually quite good. It looks like skin. Doesn't it? It doesn't look like Oh my god, like what is that? Oh, the padlet. There we that, go. What is that? Right, can you sing Happy Birthday, George? Bon so we're singing it to ourselves. Happy anniversary, joyeux anniversary. Joyeux anniversary. Joyeux anniversary. Woo! Blow the candles together. <sighs> Did you make a wish? Yes. I he, can't tell he's you. He's like, shit, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, why have I not disappeared? <laughs> Please swallow me up. Um, it is actually a... Oh, that's a bit funny, though, isn't it? It's lovely. It's maybe a bit like... Um, it's a red velvet cake. Oh, you babe. Which I know it's your favourite. It is. Thank it's you so not much. not mine, so fuck you. <laughs> well, you get, well, he can take it home. What about him? See? Oh, it doesn't look like a that. penis. It looks like a baguette. That looks like a baguette. It's a short, that actually does. It's a short and stocky baguette, though. Six inch. He's got a 12 inch now. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> at home, he also has. <laughs> also at home, he has a. Donkey. Oh my god, you crap me up. That's funny. Donkey, you sounded like that one. <laughs> Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you cross your eyes when you do that. Did I? Yeah. Oh, I've never been able to do that. I can't even Yay. wink. Yay. I can't even wink. I can't wink. Can't Are you ready? I'll give you my good yeah, you eye. Can. I could never pull. Right, ready? So this is the good wink. Watch this eye. <laughs> Do it to the camera. No, because it, it looks like there's something not okay. Yeah, look. Yeah, she can't. I can't. Th- she can't boss eye. Can you boss eye? <laughs> I can do it. Is that what I did? You look at your yeah. nose. There you go. You've done it. Hey. Don't, because if the wind blows, you get stuck like that. Oh, that's oh a mummy God. thing. Isn't it? <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. No, thank you for having me. You do me. us a huge favour and ask everybody to subscribe and review. Guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Such a pro game. Smoky in it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did you like the game? Yeah, I actually do.